Information and technology systems are a major key to supporting make the improvements in each of the six foundation pillars. Information and technology can significantly improve governance. We could have a truly unique and comprehensive identity for all citizens, linking this to all key services and records. This would reduce welfare losses through corruption and theft and provide effective and efficient processes to reduce the bureaucracy. Currently, we have internet-based tuition across North America and Europe with tutors from India. There are so many examples where IT can help improve education through improved teaching and to make learning fun and enjoyable, thereby increasing attendance and successful completion of studies. In healthcare, we are already combining information, technology, engineering and medicine. However, the vast majority of our citizens have little or limited access to healthcare. We can use information and technology systems to share medical case details, support off-site, online, live diagnosis and advice and track patient progress. Information technology can significantly help legal reforms. Electronic submission to the courts, documents, recording would significantly reduce the bureaucracy and administration. It would speed up our legal process and provide for timely application and reduce the administrative hurdles. Across the world, IT has made a major step change in law enforcement and internal security. The recording of crimes, criminal cases, evidence, this can be shared across all national law enforcement agencies. It improves the access and the successful closure of cases. So closure rates improve and the cases are resolved more speedily. Surveillance, DNA, fingerprint, face recognition and identity tracking, etc. can help track and support criminal deterrence. The last 10 years alone, through the war on terror, has shown a major leap forward on information and technology systems use by national security forces. At a simple level, there are three applications. The first is the combination of information and technology with actual hardware, helping improve the accuracy of ordinance, coordination and communication of the different assets in the theatre of operation. Secondly, the use of information technology to help identify, track, record, analyse and then decide on how to prevent either a physical, electronic or cyber attack on the national assets or areas of our national interest and influence. And then finally, the development of leading edge technologies to provide game-changing advantages for defensive and offensive purposes. When we look at infrastructure, each of the six foundation pillars can be supported by information and technology to make operations and services more effective and efficient from record keeping, monitoring, through to anal analysis and communication. In energy management, billing, low energy equipment and other applications all have IT. Secure telecoms helps communication across these critical national assets. Collating and sharing information to help agricultural productivity and water recycling and usage and, and, and crop production, that is all information driven. Tracking and monitoring of our wildlife and our environment, land, water and air, can be supported by information and technology systems.